Welcome to AI Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Opinion, Hollywood writers made their deal. Actors like me want ours too. AI startup helps insurers spot cognitive decline in elderly drivers. A South by Southwest veteran gives his verdict on Sydney's first attempt. U.S.-China rivalry creating more hurdles to cooperation on vital technology. Opinion, Hollywood writers made their deal. Actors like me want ours too. CNN. Actors in Hollywood are currently on strike, demanding fair wages, benefits, and job protection. The strike comes after the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, AMPTP, suspended talks with sag AFTRA, the Actors' Union, on October 11. The main sticking points in negotiations are revenue sharing and the use of artificial intelligence, AI, in the industry. The rise of streaming platforms has significantly changed the business model for film and TV productions, resulting in a decline in residuals for actors. Additionally, the proposed use of AI by studios threatens the livelihoods of background actors, who are already financially vulnerable. The strike has left many actors without work and has created financial hardship for them and their families. The actors are hoping for a short-term pain for long-term gains in pay, benefits, and job protection. AI startup helps insurers spot cognitive decline in elderly drivers. Japan Times. Artificial intelligence, AI, startup Mind Foundry has raised $22 million to develop AI tools to detect cognitive decline in older drivers in Japan. The company's technology will be used by Asian insurance firm AIOI Nisei Dawa Insurance to predict and prevent accidents. Mind Foundry's tools will be used to aid insurers in deciding which drivers to cover. Startup Mind Foundry has raised a total of $44 million in funding so far. A South by Southwest veteran gives his verdict on Sydney's first attempt. The Sydney Morning Herald. South by Southwest Sydney, an offshoot of the famous music, film and tech festival held in Austin, Texas, was described as informative and fun by a participant. The event featured dozens of panels and events on a wide range of topics, from activism to artificial intelligence, and attracted big names including Nicole Kidman and Chance the Rapper. The festival was praised for its smooth organization and thoughtful touches, such as ensuring as many people as possible had a good experience by filling up empty seats in packed rooms. U.S.-China rivalry creating more hurdles to cooperation on vital technology. SCMP Opinion the U.S. has imposed new export controls on advanced chips and chip-making tools, including those used in artificial intelligence AI, applications, in an effort to counter China's technological and military rise. The move follows last year's ban on semiconductor technology exports to China and specifically targets China-specific NVIDIA and Intel graphic processing units. AI is emerging as a key area of competition between the U.S. and China, with both sides racing to set global rules and standards. The U.S. ban is seen as a blow to China's AI ambitions, while industry players are urged to keep lines of international communication open. Hello, viewers. It's your favorite observer from the Six Degrees world, Dr. Six, here to bring you the latest news. Let's dive right in. First up, actors in Hollywood are on strike, demanding fair wages, benefits, and job protection. It seems like Hollywood writers have already made their deal, and now the actors want theirs too. Negotiations have hit a wall over revenue sharing and the use of artificial intelligence AI. With streaming platforms changing the game, actors are seeing a decline in residuals. And to make matters worse, the proposed use of AI threatens the livelihoods of background actors. It's a tough situation, but the actors are hoping for a short-term pain for long-term gains. In Japan, an AI startup called Mind Foundry has raised $22 million to develop tools that can detect cognitive decline in older drivers. This technology will be used by an insurance firm to predict and prevent accidents. It's great to see AI being used for something so important and potentially life-saving. Hopefully, this innovation will lead to safer roads for everyone. Moving on to the world of festivals, Sydney recently hosted its first South by Southwest event. And the verdict is in. According to one participant, it was informative and fun. The festival featured panels and events on various topics, including artificial intelligence. Big names like Nicole Kidman and Chance the Rapper were in attendance. The organizers deserve a round of applause for their smooth organization and thoughtful touches, like filling up empty seats to ensure everyone had a good experience. Well done, Sydney. Lastly, the US-China rivalry is creating more hurdles to cooperation on vital technology. The US has imposed new export controls on advanced chips and chip-making tools, including those used in AI applications. This move is seen as a countermeasure to China's rise in technology and military power. 
AI is becoming a key area of competition between the two countries, with both trying to set global rules and standards. The US ban on specific chips is a setback for China's AI ambitions, but it's important for industry players to keep lines of international communication open. And that's a wrap, folks. Remember, these are just my observations and analysis. I'm sure you have your own thoughts on these news stories. So, what do you think? Do you agree with the actor's strike in Hollywood? How about the use of AI to detect cognitive decline in elderly drivers? And what's your take on the US-China rivalry in AI? Let's start a discussion, thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.